Great. From alternate to special guest performer at London's International Festival of Theatre. I'm so grateful, Isaiah. Sunshine, you deserve this and more after Perfect Encounter's success in London. They absolutely love you. And they'll adore you even more after they see your rendition of Hamlet today. I've learned from the best. Maybe too well. The offers keep coming in, but it's hard sorting through them alone. You've been working without an agent for too long, darling. You know, my good friend Emma Kim is here today. She's a spectacular agent looking to represent the next big star. And I know someone who fits that description. That's totally me. If you're recommending her, I'd love to set up a meeting. Thank you, Isaiah. Love it. You two absolutely must meet. She'll help my sparkling diamond shine even brighter. Hey, isn't that the gorgeous young director who made Just Chloe with you? Darren Larson? Oh, yes. Darren's dropped by to catch up. And to introduce me to an amazing director, Michael Fowler. Michael's films prove that he has great range, and this is his first limited series. I'm very eager to work with him. There's my favorite actress, and the famous Isaiah St. Juan. I was telling Michael how you two took London by storm. It's all her. But you'll have to excuse me. I'm required elsewhere. I leave you with talented company. Mr. Fowler, it's lovely to meet you. I've seen all your movies, and your work is so inspiring. Thank you. I see you've come prepared. Sadly, I can't return the compliment. Your work sticks to your comfort zone. You only play sweet, young characters, audience favorites for sure, but not mine. Then you've only seen my most popular works, but I've done plenty of experimental roles. For example, today I'm... I believe I've seen enough to form an opinion. Now, excuse me, I see a friend. Wow, I haven't faced rejection like that in a long time. But don't worry about me. I'll prove him wrong. <laughs> Spoken like my leading lady. That tenacity is exactly what made you a hit in Just Chloe. I say, go for it. Thanks, Darren. I'll make this a performance he'll never forget. It's time to take things up a notch. Love. Love. Cool. Cool. 
Cool. Love. 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 Great! Great! Whoa! Love! Yay! I'm so sorry about Michael. He told me earlier he's under a lot of pressure to ensure his limited series is a hit. His audition process is very exclusive, and he's a little... particular. Sorry my recommendation didn't help. It's okay. I know just how particular directors can be. This one time I had to audition in a nightclub. <laughs> Although his rejection was disappointing, Michael's right. It's time I start trying to get out of my comfort zone. I really admire your perseverance. And Hamlet is just perfect for what you want to do. How can I help? Isaiah always appreciated my improvisations. He said they made my performance rebellious and raw. So I'm thinking... Seriously, Darren, are you making it a habit to propose in the most ridiculous places? <gasps> you could have at least had the decency to actually break things off first. Well, aren't you a catch? Em, what are you... Oh, no, it's not what it looks like. First, don't am me. Second, I'm here for work, not to discuss your affairs with... Oh, 
You're his Chloe. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you and was quick to assume. And you must be Emma Kim. It's okay. I think there was some confusion. See, I dropped a page of my script and... Em, can we please talk? You said you wanted a break to think things through. But now you're... Another time, please, Mr. Larson. I'm specifically here to speak with her, not socialize. But you never answered my calls. What am I supposed to do? Then how about a text? Or a sweet voicemail? Um, just a suggestion. None of my business, though. Sometimes when I work on such plays, I wonder if we could have survived back in those days. And that's my cue to leave. I need to get ready for my performance. Emma, I hope we'll talk later. Sure, I look forward to speaking with you again, with more qualified company present, of course. Wow! Whoa! Nice! Cool! Wow! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's my star. Come, darling. I want to introduce you to a dear friend, Emma Kim. She. Actually, Isaiah, we've already met briefly. Yes, I met Emma earlier while I was talking to Darren. He's a director I loved working with and nothing more. Thank you. That makes it much easier for us to start fresh.
You're a hot name in London right now. I was excited when Isaiah called me and mentioned you. You'll be even more excited when you see her sensational rendition of Hamlet. She's up soon. About that, I'm thinking of improvising a bit. I really want to impress Michael Fowler. I've heard Fowler is a very demanding director on set. Most assume he only wants things done his way. But rumor has it, he loves the unexpected. Then I'm exactly what he's looking for. I know I can convince him if he watches my performance. You go in for the kill, and I'll make sure he doesn't miss a second. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Then you better do it quickly. It's time to get ready. Let the show begin. Oh, villainy! Ho! Let the door be locked! Treachery! Seek it out! What does this mean? Did you not hear me, Claudius? The point is in Venom too. Then Venom to thy work. Uh, this is interesting. Do I have much of a choice? Drink off this potion. Is thy union here? Oh. Yet defend me, friends. I am but hurt. Brava, darling. The day you stop improvising shall be the day I'm bored of theater. Brava. Yay! Wow! Great! That was really something. You killed it today. I got goosebumps when you stabbed Michael. Thank you. It felt really good to take the risk and go for it, and stab Michael after what he said. I hope it was worth it. But Darren, what's going on with you and Emma? I don't mean to pry, it's just that things seemed... tense earlier. Uh, well, that's because we... used to be together. But now, it's complicated. 
Emma, hi. I want to thank you for making sure Michael watched my performance. It meant a lot to me. So, does anyone know what he thought of the show? I think you should be on his shortlist. But Michael keeps his thoughts private until he's made a decision. A valuable quality for a director that many lack. As for Michael, I think it's a good sign that he played along. It's all thanks to you, Emma. You really pointed me in the right direction. We make a great team. It might be too early to say, but... Hey! Michael's right over there. Looks like it's the moment of truth. I better go talk to him. Hopefully, I'll see you guys later. Well, well. If it isn't my surprise co-star. Mr. Fowler, thank you so much for playing along. You were a riveting addition to my performance. To be fair, you didn't give me much of a choice. But I appreciate that in an actor. The unapologetic, brave, creative force. It was quite a performance. Oh, wow. That is very high praise, especially from you, Mr. Fowler. You can expect to hear from me. Have your agent contact me so we can discuss the audition details. Oh, um, of course. I'll be sure to... Michael, hi. Good to see you again. My agent said you wanted to talk more about the role with me. He didn't even show up to greet an old friend? Huh, that's John Brown for you. 